Today I would like to show you how to change the wallpaper automatically when you switch the focus mode. Um, so with the iOS 15, we got a new feature called focus mode. Um, so now if I switch from like, um, so now I have work. So if you can take a look on my wallpaper here, but if I switch into, let's say I want to go to personal, um, you can see at the same time, the wallpaper has been changed. And now let me switch back to um, work. And now the wallpaper also changed as well. So now let me show you how to uh, achieve this. Uh, first, you need to turn on uh, focus mode in setting. So go to setting, uh, go to focus, and then um, you need to turn on like personal, um, sleep, or work, depend on the focus mode that you like and the one that um, suit you. And after that, um, you need to go into photo. And this step, you need to create a new album uh, by clicking on the plus button, click on the new album here. And for now, um, name the album that you like. So let's say um, rename it as work one. And then let me click on sale. And now you need to select the wallpaper. So um, I'm going to select this one. And then um, click on done. And you need to do the same thing. Uh, create another album. Uh, for this one, um, I'm going to go to personal. Personal one here, click on sale and then select the wallpaper that you want to be changed. Um, let's say I select this one, and now click on done. And after you have done all of this, um, you need to go back, um, go into your shortcut. And from shortcut, you need to go to automation, and let me delete this one that I um, created before, and now click on create personal automation, and scroll all the way down, um, so go to personal, when personal is turned on, we want it to change the wallpaper. Click on next and add the action. Uh, in this case, you're going to find, uh, click on find, uh, tie, find, find photo. Select this and now um, on all photo, um, it is correct. And the album is um, personal one that we have just created earlier, um, this one. You don't need to customize anything in here, but um, for this one, you need to tie a third wallpaper. Click on this one, and on um, uh, click on this button. Uh, make sure this option is turned on. We don't need a preview, and that's it. Um, click on next, and then um, for the as before running, this option must be turned off as well. If you don't turn off, it will ask you before it runs this automation, so it is kind of annoying. And I'll click on done, and we done the first one. And we need to do the second one. Um, it, it is exactly the same, but you just need to change to work. And when work is turned on, we need it to change the wallpaper as well. Click on next. And then you need to do the same thing. So I'm going to speed up this video so you don't have to wait. And then we need to go to a work one that we have created um, earlier. And now um, we don't need to mess up anything here. Um, the same thing, search for third wallpaper. And then we don't need preview, turn off, um, hit on next. And now um, this option must be turned off, and that's it. Um, you should be able to change the wallpaper autom automatically when you switch from uh, different focus mode. So now let me switch from uh, work to uh, personal. And as you can see, the wallpaper has been changed. Or let me switch back to work. And you can add more for your own focus mode if you want to have the wallpaper change. But you need to create an album inside photo app and then create personal automation that I um, saw you earlier. And thanks for watching. I hope um, this will help you. Then I will see you guys in the next one.